So this is the smoker I got. Using her for a while. Got it pretty well dialed in on how I need to keep her hot, keep the smoke rolling through the other end. It's nothing fancy, this is a little cheap charm broil. Uh, shouldn't have to pay over a hundred bucks. You see all these guys using some crazy stuff. And um, I don't really think it benefits you unless you're doing large, large cooks, which I've, I've used other large smokers. I've cooked up to nine briskets in one time. I've done, we did 27 briskets in a, in a matter of, I wanna say 24 hour time frame. So um, moving on though, we I've got some hickory wood that I'm gonna be smoking today. I see those, I've got some charcoal in there also. Uh, I just like to use that to get everything hot and and rolling through and it kind of just keeps For me right now. It, it's it's more affordable for me to use that charcoal um, later on I'll be working on Getting just the straight wood smoke in here. I, I don't really like the flavors of that charcoal uh, I can taste it on my meat when other when people put just a strictly charcoal flavor. I'd like to get infused um charcoal that maybe has some apple wood or something like that so it just doesn't have that that complete charcoal flavor in your food you know it's i don't use very much just in the beginning i kind of just stack it high and then just to kind of maybe raise the heat sometimes i'll throw one or two in during the uh the cook um on top of that it's always a smart thing to i always just use a propane guy to get her lit I live up here in Wyoming and it's sometimes it's a pain in the ass to uh, to get your fire started because it's so damn windy out here man it can be tough uh, especially with the elevation to oxygen's a little thinner up here and that makes a big difference I started smoking meat in Oklahoma and uh, it's a lot different battle when it comes to trying to keep your fire hot and uh, you know you just do a little bit more babysitting um, messing with your dampeners and everything like that it's a lot more control of that oxygen flow out here and it's so windy it doesn't you think it'd help you but it doesn't really um, on the other side we've it's just a normal basic inlay got some stuff down there on the bottom it's not exactly the cleanest thing in the world but sometimes that's that's not a bad thing um, another common misconception or at least people tend to tend to do. I, I don't put mesquite in my smokers. It, uh, in my opinion, it ruins them. Um, that creosol that that comes out of that that mesquite kind of coats the inside of your smokers, and um, it doesn't really do you any benefits. It'll actually it'll coat the inside right here, and it'll ruin a smoker, man. Um, and it tends to set, it'll set your smoker on fire. It, I mean, that creosol, you know, you can definitely get the smoker hot enough and it'll, it'll coat the inside and kind of gives it a weird film I'm not a big fan of. So I don't ever smoke with mesquite. I will cook a steak with a mesquite. And if I do use it inside this grill, I open the whole grill up just so that smoke or any of that flavor doesn't get caught up in here. Um, I never close my grill out or close my grill when I use mesquite. So um, it's just a smart, uh, not a smart thing, but just a preferred um, things I do, you know. Um, another deal is inside my, inside my smoker, I've got this little water pan I use. It's it used to be my girl's uh, mixing bowl. Kind of ruined it one day and it's been here ever since but i put water in that guy and try to put it directly over the heat um that helps with keeping the moisture as it rolls as the smoke rolls through here it doesn't completely dry the food out and that makes a big difference in the end using a uh, water bowl or um just keeping that that um i guess that moisture inside the uh the smoker um but outside of that, it's everything else is just basic utensils. Um, everybody, anybody can do this. It's, this smoker, I think, only cost me about $75 at the time. Um, I had to make a couple adjustments to it because it, it wouldn't quite seal up. 
and smoke tended to uh, leak out so I had to just kind of tighten everything up in there and, and there's my buddy uh, Atlas he's he's still a pup trying to learn things he's chewing on everything so we'll have more videos of him as he grows and more videos of cooking so we'll get back to prepping the food and um, talk more of my opinions on how this whole process sh should go and what I've seen and what I've learned.